We're fugitives, Sandra. Fugitives. I've been set up, babe. I swear. And you're sure our only resort is to rendezvous with this... this criminal? He said he'd clear my name. I, I don't know why or, or how. Okay, darling. By hook or by crook, we'll beat this. I hate to be the bearer of crappy news, babe. I, re I really do, but, um... More goddamn cops? Yeah. That was the crappy news. Hey, there are cops all over the place. Where are we headed? He wants to meet up with the bitter kids. And if we bring in the heat, he'll disappear and, and we'll be left with the cops. And we're supposed to just trust this guy? Cops are persistent. What did you do? I didn't do anything. One day, I'm just doing my job, and the next, the boss has skipped town and the FBI want to arrest me. You've been so understanding, Soren. All of my late nights at the office, those weekends at conventions. I guess I'm a forgiving kind of guy. days and our bad ones. Yeah. Perhaps I'm being too hasty. What did you mean back there about being too hasty? I meant dragging you into all of this. Maybe I should have, um... I don't know. Hey, we're gonna make that rendezvous whatever it takes. Yeah. You're being... A mate? We're in trouble, aren't we? Now the car's still got wheels and an engine, hun.
gotta deal with these cops before I can go meet that mysterious stranger. Too many cops, too little time. These cops are starting to get on my nerves. And I'm leaving you, and we're taking the money from the company account. What? You did steal the money? Well, see, as far as the cops are concerned, you stole the money. Robert sent them an email. He thinks of everything.
a call back. It's my You'll call back, Toby. Thank God you're here, Jack. I don't know what. I I wouldn't be anywhere else. I'm David's godfather, Toby. He's got a call back. It's my little boy. Oh God, it's him. Get to the location I'm sending you, Toby. Be quick and don't attract attention. Just let me speak to my boy. Please, you don't need... Don't screw this up. I have a box about the right size for David's body. Toby, don't worry. We'll get your son back. Mr. Welsh, you made it. I'm impressed. Listen to me, you bastard! Stop playing around and tell me what you want me to do! I want you to do what I say. You're going to drive toward where we'll make the exchange. Stay off the main roads. If you can't keep out of sight, there'll be no meeting. Now, drive. We'll be there. Just let me speak to David! I'm holding all the cards, Toby. If you want to see your boy take another breath, you'll go exactly where I say, and do exactly what I say. We'd better do it, Toby. Just get my son back! One more time. Just give me a reason, Jack. Make it. Careful, Jack. Oh, God. Jack! Are you drawing attention to yourself, Jack? Want Toby's boy to die? No one's gonna die. We're cool. I will do it, Toby. We can do it. Come on, we can do it. The clock is ticking, Jack. I'm a busy man. And if Toby doesn't want to pick his boy up in several black bags, you better make it here in my time. I'll do it, Toby. Remember that. Don't make me punish David for your mistakes, Jack. Please! Please, God! This is it, gentlemen. I'll be in the lobby at the next location. Once you give me the money, I'll bring the boy out. You have three minutes. Be there. Is he gone? All right, where's the money? In this bag? I don't have the money, Jack! Oh, I don't believe this! Okay, okay. He's headed to the lobby, not keeping tabs on us. We got three minutes to bring enough cops to storm the building and get your kid back. How do we get the cops to follow us? Hit and run. Okay, here we go. Is this gonna work? Wait, there's one more cop! We've got the cops, Toby. We've got time to leave them there. 
careful! Do we have enough cops? Not enough to cover all the exits. Stay in the car, Toby. I'm gonna lead them into the lobby. Tell Kathy we're on our way, sweet pea. Hey, Kathy, it's Loretta. We got the charges, we'll be at the demolition site and... Change your plan. Head onto the 101 and wait for instructions. Hey, look, is Kathy there? Shut up and get onto the 101, or they'll be collecting Kathy with a vacuum cleaner. Just do it. All right, who the hell is this? Santa Claus. Real frickin' funny. Put Kathy on. No, what is funny is what'll happen to you if you drop below 60, and the bomb stowed underneath your truck explodes. Isn't that right, Kathy? Do what he says! He's got a gun! Stay above 60 or explode. Not much of a choice. One scratch can set off the bomb! Are you crazy? Whoever you are, we have a cargo of demolition charges. Yeah, whatever. Steer clear of speed bumps. If you want us dead, why didn't you just blow us up when we turned the key? Bigger plans. I'm monitoring your every move. Daddy, the stuff in the back, it ain't super stable. Neither's the bastard to put the bomb under our truck. You work with what you got. Where are you going, Pop? If this rig blows, it has to be somewhere safe. Nowhere's gonna be safe for us if it blows. I'm working on that. Are you trying to set the damn bomb off? Um, Daddy. The detonator charges are really delicate. Let me know when they, you know, blow. That ain't funny, Dad. Why is this happening, Pop? Yeah, why are you doing this? Did Jericho put you up to it? Jericho? <laughs> what, you think I'm some two-bit criminal? I'm doing this with a buzz. You're terrorizing innocent people. Don't knock it till you've tried it. Fear is power. I can close this city with a threat. A simple phone call. Drive safe now. Listen close, Loretta. In a few seconds, I'm gonna need you to get us both out of the cab. Both of us? Are you crazy? Someone else will take care of the bomb. Trust me. Oh, my. A nerve! Watch it! We gotta keep this ride smooth. Whoa, easy does it. Right now, I need something low enough to fit under that truck, so I can snag that bomb. Ah, shoot. I just remembered. We have to drive under a truck! A what? Yeah! That was a very hard hit. Very hard. Yeah, sorry, Pops. I'm trying not to do that. How about that? Could have been nasty. I'm waiting for an explanation. Sorry, I don't have time for one. 